Hi Leo, the lion. Welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be your next 48, okay? So we're gonna see what the messages are for Leo. Someone rising in the North Node, okay? Leo, someone rising Venus in the North Node. Next 48 for the king. What's coming in for the king or the queen? The lion or the lioness for the next 48 hours. What is their affirmation? So this is the affirmation deck. So we're gonna see what your affirmation is for the next uh, 48 hours. Okay, that was a lot, okay? All right, but this is the one I seen first. It says, decide your vibe. It attracts your tribe. And that's period. Some cool ass shit for a cool ass Leo, okay? It says, um shakalaka. Uh, let your freak flag um, fly. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. And it says, dance like no one's watching. So yeah, maybe you you need to dance or you dance and freaky or whatever this is. The power of meow, activate purr mantra. So purr, baby. Yeah, and then behind that is chilling like a boss. Don't let dumbasses get you down, period. Yeah, and it says, bye-bye, dumbass bullshit, right behind that, okay? It says, hello, sea of tranquility. So you're at peace, and it could be motherfuckers that's trying to disrupt that, but you, but they're not. Let's see, what's the, what your um, angel numbers are for the next 48? The lion, lioness. Next 48, the king and the queen of the jungle. Leo, sun rising, you must know, you know what is the important um, messages or angel messages for you to What numbers are important to... Leo, the next 48 hours. Leo, sun, moon, rising, 27, okay? Nine when broken down, okay? It says your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward all ways of life. You have value, freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am expressive. Very expressive move, uh, move here. It says your vibe attracts your tribe. And then the bottom of the deck, 222. Well, 2-2, two, two, I'm sorry, it's a master number is what it's, wow, 222 just showed up on the clock when I said that. So a lot of twos is significant, a visionary. It says you are in a position of incredible creative powers and it is assured that you can achieve anything you wish. I am aligned, that's because you are aligned. And there's that number seven again. You can have a life past seven, I sure do. Okay, you possess a very refined mind and a deep urge to uncover life's mysteries. Your ability to acquire vast knowledge on both the informational and spiritual planes gives you a, cre uh, a greater awareness than most. I am brilliant. And that, and look at that, two, two, two. Oh my gosh. So you're gonna see a lot of twos, maybe two, 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 or two, two. It says, trust that the seeds of your thoughts are growing as you grow, as you are nurturing them with words, feelings, and action. I am balanced. Okay, and behind that 888, that um, abundance, as you focus on all the wonderful things that surround you, you're clearing the path for more positive energy to flow into all areas of your life and creating a place for abundance. I am abundant, just period. All right. So this is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. The next 48, clarify this beautiful energy. So twos are significant. Clarify this beautiful energy here. For Leos or something is complete. Yeah, it says your vibe attracts your tribe. And you want a whole nother type vibe, Leo. So let's see for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Next, 48 for Leo, the Lion. What is this beautiful energy here? These two, two. Okay, your first card out is the judgment. Speaking out, express that card said, it says, I am expressive. This And this is, for, it says, in your community, the country, or the world. So I'm getting, you're going to be world renowned. This is your calling, the judgment, whatever this is you do, Leo, it is your calling. The first card out, that's the strongest energy, a major arcana. You're going to be doing this for a long time to come. Yeah, and you're the best at it too, the king of swords. You can have a Libra placement, highly aspected, okay? But this is what you do. This is your calling, and this is what you're supposed to do. So you can sit back, relax, get 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 used to the good life, being pampered, having what you want, being amongst the elite, living the best life. This is your destiny. And can't nobody take it. I'm hearing crabs in the barrel, so somebody else is mad because of your destiny. They're broke. They're raggedy. They can't make it or they didn't, so they want to see you not make it. Absolutely the fuck not. There is no way in the fuck that will ever happen. 
Okay, so let's see that King of Swords showing up again. Let's see what the judgment. So your your calling is to be yeah the Two of Wands. You better go, bitch. And I'm I'm sorry. I'm no man watching too. So my kings and queens, okay. And look at that Six of Swords, my nigga. Yeah, you're moving on from the conflict, the drama, the bullshit, the pettiness, or whatever the fuck this is. You're moving on from it. Five of Wands. Your guides are coming in to protect you or move you away from this. You're no longer a part. You're, 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 you're too elite to be dealing with five of wands ass motherfuckers. You have the two of wands. Look at your energy. Most beautiful reading I've done for all signs this session. Okay. And I'm saying that simply because of how your cards are coming out. Libra pretty got pretty much got nice a nice set too. We have the judgment and the two of wands here. You're chosen. Literally, those two cards together means being handpicked, chosen by the universe. Okay, we have five, five, five on the clock. Let's see what that is. I know that's that's like that's like the tower card. Okay, it's major changes and shifts happening here, but I feel like it's for the good. Something, yeah, here it is. A major shift is about to come into your life experience and change your past direction. Be open and stay positive. I am optimistic, okay? So be open and stay positive to what this change is. I, I promise you it's a good one. I feel like you're attracting a whole, it says my my vibe attracts my tribe. So you're you're attracting a whole new type energy of, of people and everything into your life. Your life is about to shift in ways you can never imagine, but I feel like it's going to be beautiful, like I'm seeing like beautiful. Okay, so here you are chosen. You're making a decision or you're making a final decision. You're, whatever this decision is, you're, you're making a good one. The two of wands is like the world, like the mini world card. Because in the t regular tarot deck, you see them holding the world in their hand. So you're chosen to be world renowned. You're chosen to be well known all over the world, to be respected, to be expressive. Let me read your, your card that fell out again. 27. Okay. You could be 27. It says your mind is wide open and you are tolerant and compassionate toward, toward all ways of life. You value freedom of expression and want to improve the conditions of people, whether in your community, country, or the world at large. I am so, and that's what you're going to do. You're going to do it. Um, around the world at large, bitch. And that's just what the fuck it is. So let's see. Yeah. And look when I open the deck on oh, God. 727 just showed up the world. Do you understand? You are initiated the world. Yeah. The eight of swords and the being stuck, the trap, the, the poverty or people picking on you, um, be, um, be, belittling you and doing all of this shit or, or being jealous of you or keeping that is no longer your life. Now you are nine of pentacles. Empress. This is, this is pre empress, but you could be empress energy to whoever. Okay. The nine of pentacles, single self-sufficient business is abundant. You're doing your fucking thing. That's the wealthy life. That's eating good, looking good, smelling good, tasting good. And some more shit. You was chosen my nigga. And there's nothing nobody can do about that. All right. Or there's, or whatever. We have the two of cups here showing up as well. And the three of cups. So bask and celebrate. Yeah. The will of fortune. This is your destiny. We have the judgment, the world and the will of fortune. It is your destiny. I'm getting something about birth chart, something about your birth chart is significant. You have wonderful placements. Yeah, the page of wands. So something's going to be a confirmation here for you. Something's going to blow your mind with the tower card. Something that someone says or does or whatever this is. Okay, but I'm also getting something about beauty. You're, you're meant to be beautiful, thin, or if you're not really thin, just kind of slim, thick, or just shapely, sexy ass, hips, thighs. I'm not seeing somebody overweight. I'm just, I'm just getting um, the nice, the perfect boobs, whether big or kind of small, they're perfect. Okay. Whatever this is, you're, you're supposed to have this. You have good news coming in with the page of wands and the will of fortune. Okay. Your fortune, you're, you're good. Nobody can take that from you. What is this for Leo? Or Because I definitely feel like somebody is trying. Yeah. This Knight of Swords wants to come out. Somebody keeps trying to attack you or keeps trying to fuck with you. And the universe is, yeah, the high priestess. Oh, okay. So something that a psychic says is going to be confirmed for you. You're going to be like, wow. Or somebody's a great uh, tarot reader. All right. This is you or this is, some, or, or this is somebody else. But your destiny is to be a psychic, a tarot reader. A motherfucking or to read birth charts or to whatever. I feel like the star card is going to come out too, but we'll see. Yeah, the justice. You deserve this good life. Yeah, the ten of pentacles. Your justice is that you deserve to be married, 
949 to have a full life, to have abundance. Look at that baby there. You could be sitting with your baby like that or taking pictures with your child. But I feel like your life, your, it's your justice to be the Ten of Pentacles. Very wealthy. I'm also getting something about your DNA, your makeup. You have a be beautiful DNA or very royal DNA with the Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. And it is your justice to have that. Okay, it is your just. This is who you are. Nobody can take it from you. Beautiful reading here. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. You're skilled. The best at what you do. You're a master at what you do, and you're very gifted. Okay. So yeah, and look at that. We have the Six of Cups. Yeah, you you could be dead. You could have Libra because she got the High Priestess and the Moon next to each other. You have access to the Akashic records, the ancestors, the dead, to everybody. You are skilled. You have the Eight of Pentacles. You are the best. And you have a lot of support. Six of Cups from the universe. A lot of protection. You could be very connected to the moon. All right. A lot of it. Yeah, the Four of Wands. I'm getting domestic in the Eight of Wands. So you're on camera or on stage. You're progressing here. Your life is taking off. Things are going to... I feel like a large sum of money. If you were wanting to hit... Um, a, a, a 10,000 uh, mark. Maybe you wanted to hit 10,000 in your first seven or eight days. You're hitting that. Maybe you make this every eight days or seven days or every 11 days or something about the 11th or every 10 days. Yeah, this money. Yeah, this quota. Ace of Pentacles. There's money coming in. A lot of it. Or this quota that you want to meet. You're going to meet that for this week or whatever. You're like, yeah, I, damn, I'm, other, I'm that bitch. Yeah, we have Leo, the strength card. Yeah, it wanted to come out in the... It was in reverse in the deck. I'm not going to take it out. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. I definitely feel like somebody's trying to cause instability or hold you back in your money. Someone's trying to cause this, but you're already aware of it. There's that other opportunity. Yep. And now the strength wants to show up again. So there it is. There you go, Leo. You're, you're victorious. You're strong. You're beautiful. Look at this lion. Okay. Very, very, yeah, two opportunities here. So, so something, two very lucrative streams of income is coming in. Two new things that you're starting. Yeah, the fool. This is something completely new, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah, there's somebody here mad or this is, or this is you. You pick what side of the shit you're on, okay? You pick. Yeah, we got the queen of pentacles, okay? There it is. All right, but I, I feel like it, well, let me see who this queen of pentacles is. Yeah, you have another six, the six of swords. All right, let me see who this Queen of Pentacles is, because I feel like this is on some. This Queen of Pentacles is is uh is is jealous or yeah the Seven of Swords because they wanted to fall out in the reverse. I put it to the upright, and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse could be a witch, or this could be your mother, because I just saw the Empress that's doing spell work on you, watching you, a uh, lying, conning. There's somebody you can't trust. Yeah, someone's a liar. Someone is not a friend. Someone is very jealous of you with this queen of pentacles that wanted to come out reverse. That's not you, Leo. This is somebody else. Okay. Somebody, somebody may be trying to create illusions, but somebody's a liar. Yeah. The five of cups and the seven of cups and the five of pentacles. Very low jealous energy. Yeah. The eight of swords and the tower. Somebody is trying to bring your empire down behind your back. They think you don't see or know. Somebody's dumb. The high priestess is here and the ace of swords and the moon. Bitch, you know, been new and gone know. Yeah, whoever this evil five of swords, uh, queen of pentacles in reverse is, is jealous of you. Yep, and there's the five of wands, five of swords that's competing with you. This is a lot of low energy. This is, but you're going to move away from this or this is, or your guides are protecting you with the six of swords here from this person. Okay, what is this? Yeah, you're going to walk away or you moved on. I guess somebody's mad or you don't care or you're indifferent or you don't want to talk or any of that shit. You, if somebody can't tell you the truth or be real, you want nothing to do with them. Yeah, the three of wands is looking at the nine of cups. The three of wands is the future. You know in the future that you're going to be very good. You know it's destined for you. Who is this five of swords, five of wands and queen of pentacles in reverse? This hateful, evil bitch. Who the fuck is this? That's a liar and a con. Who is this evil person over here? Yeah, we got the Queen of Cups. This could be two, this could be two women in cahoots. Somebody really loves you, but they hate you at the same time. Yeah, and the King of Cups. Wow. So this could even be a couple. Or somebody wants a relationship with you. You didn't give it to them. So somebody's trying or, or something like that. Okay, what is this? Who is this? What is this? Five of Swords, Five of Wands, Seven of Swords. Look how these fucking cards flipped out like that. So I'm going to take them. Yeah, the seven of cups in the reverse. We got the eight, of, the eight of swords in the reverse. 
All right. Yeah, we got the five of cups in the reverse and the five of pentacles in the reverse. So a lot of fives here. No, we got every five in the deck. Five, 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 five. There's that number right here in the tower. Yeah, somebody is trying to cause. There it is. Somebody's trying going hard for you, Leo. Trying to cause destruction in your life. Trying to put you so far in the hole where you never come out. Okay, ever. But I'm getting with the seven of cups in reverse. You're not confused. Ace of swords, you know what's up. You know what they're doing. And somebody knows you do. You have five of cups in reverse, eight of swords. You're not stuck. You're not sad. You're not in, you're not in the you're not in the um poverty or any of that, any of that, even though somebody's working to do this. And this is somebody that acts like they love you, they're a friend, they're stabbing you in the back, they're trying to. Now we got the six of pentacles in the reverse. Somebody's trying to keep you from having yeah, now someone's worried. Nine of swords. Now they're shook. Because I feel like something's going to backfire or something has backfired. You're not stuck. You're not trapped. You're still progressing and you're still living your life. Yeah, period, point blank. What's the eight of wands? This is your destiny. Yeah, the six of wands. Look at that. Look at you. Likes, comments, subscribe, success. Yeah, the queen of swords being skilled, being the best at what you do, standing your ground. The seven of wands is being skilled, able to stand your ground, being the best. That's what you are. Yeah, the ten of cups in the in the people love you. You have loyal um, fans as well that rock with you. OK, so you need to be careful of this mother or this friend or this or, or these parents or whoever the fuck this is. They don't have your best interest at heart. Someone is a very much a liar, deep into illusions. I feel like somebody's going deeper and deeper into some kind of a depression here and loss and lack because of what they tried to do to you, man. Somebody is fucked up here. Yeah, they definitely in some kind of lack with that queen of pentacles in the reverse. They tried to cause this on you. Nah, judgment in the two of wands came out first. You're chosen. The universe is going to make sure, bitch, don't touch, ho. Yeah, the world and the will of fortune. I'm surprised the star ain't here yet. We got the empress and that's exactly how you're going to sit the fuck up. You are that energy. That energy is you. OK, somebody can keep trying to put the shit on you or make you struggle. It's not going to happen. Just period. The universe is going to come through and dead this motherfucking shit. These people or whatever this is that's going on here is going to stop. You can mark my fucking words. I'm getting ten of swords energy. I'm, I'm surprised it's not out here. Yeah, this is a new idea or something new that you're creating. The temperance, Sagittarius energy and the four swords. You can rest easy, girl, and just create or guide and create and do what you and, and do what you you supposed to do. Go to sleep some damn where your ass is temperate, meditating, temperance and four swords, doing yoga, meditating or whatever. You're doing exactly what the fuck you need to be doing. You can rest. The universe is like, man, fuck these people. The magician and the devil, somebody doing heavy spell work on you and, and on your work, your progression, and they're going to pay. It could be a Virgo. It could be whoever the fuck this is. I'm feeling heavy Virgo, a fake ass friend, a mother or, or whatever this is. Family members, it's just fake. And that's what I'm feeling like. I feel like you got a fake ass friend. You support their business and what they do. They don't. They they don't fucking support you. They're jealous. They don't. They don't con con congratulate you or anything. They're jealous. Just period. Point blank. Yeah, we have the hangman. Yeah. So delays or seeing things from a different perspective here. Okay, what's the hangman? All right, yeah, the page of swords, yeah. I feel like all somebody does is sit up and watch your ass all day long. This is what I feel like somebody has nothing else to do but to sit on the side of their bed with their head over the, the, the foot part of the bed, just watching you on their phone and trying to figure out ways to stalk you or to bring you down or to do something. This is what I just pictured. Somebody's head is over the side of the bed, the foot part. They just hold their phone over and they just watch. And drop the phone on they, they dumb ass face. Because right, this is ridiculous. I'm so tired of seeing this in, in, in Leo and Libra's reading and shit like that. This shit is old and played out. A car flipped over. Yeah, there go the star and the emperor. Yeah, your position is not going anywhere. You're meant to run your business, sit on your fucking throne. And no matter what happens in life, that's exactly what you're going to do. The star is your overall energy. So, and the nine of cups is here. Double wishes. If you're wishing for love, a deep and genuine connection, that's coming in. Or it's here. I kept seeing the ace of cups. Or it's here, a new love. Someone's coming in for you. Oh, a card did. Uh, there it is. That's the card that flipped over. I couldn't find it. Yeah, Ace of Cups. If you want new love, you're getting it. And you're going to be, it's going to be the type of love that you just, you can't help but, oh. 
Yeah, the Knight of Wands, King of Pentacles, Emperor. This King of Pentacles, Emperor energy been coming out in the, re the readings a lot. Somebody's big boss, they're foreign, well-traveled. I feel like somebody's going to want to travel the world with you. Or someone's traveling towards you. Yeah. Okay. But this is what you got coming in. Your wishes are coming true. Your every wish is the universe command. And you deserve it. The star of the emperor. Aries energy, just sit in this position. And you will. We got the justice here and everything. You will always sit there. Okay? So those are your messages, Leo. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and follow. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Damn this sage burn.